Hey everybody, this is Simon Sage from Android Central. We are at CES Live 2014 with Shridhar. He is playing Trine 2 on, uh, on, a, uh, on a new uh, demo device here. How's it going, Shridhar? Hey, how's it going? Uh, so what we're showing here is Trine 2 running on a Tegra K1 powered development platform. And as you may remember, Trine uh, 2 is a really popular console game. and. Uh, because of uh, Tegra K1 support of uh, advanced graphics features and its performance, now we are able to bring a console game to a mobile device and uh, deliver an amazing visual quality. It, it, it certainly looks great. Uh, were, were there any kind of compromises whatsoever made bringing the, uh, the, the console version of this game over to mobile? Uh, not really. Uh, Tegra K1's uh, 192 graphics cores along with its quad-core CPU, the overall performance is comparable to that of an Xbox 360 and a PS3. So the exact same assets that was used on the PS3 version of this game has been brought over to the mobile version, and there has been no compromises in terms of visual quality or the, you know, the uh, beautifulness of this game. Wow, that, that looks great. Uh, I mean, hauling over console games to mobile, though. I mean, I, I, how, how much memory does a game like this take up? Uh, I'm not sure about how much memory it takes up, but it. Uh, it could be anywhere between uh, you know 1 GB and 4 GB. This development platform, for example, has 4 GB of memory, so uh, I'm not sure exactly how much memory this game is taking up. It's still, it's still running beautifully. Yeah. Uh, there's also the uh, the developer angle here. You know, obviously, developers that are uh, building with any given engine or their own uh, custom engine can uh, haul their stuff over without uh, right. making a, a, a lot of changes. Uh, but uh, how long does that porting process take? Uh, uh, I'm not a developer, so I can't really comment on that, but what I can say is uh, Tegra K1 supports OpenGL 4.4. It's the same graphics API that's used in high-end uh, gaming PCs and next-gen consoles like the PS4 and Xbox One. So now they can develop a game for mobile, console, and PC at the same time and bring those games much faster to mobile devices. Uh, if you recall, like uh, Grand Theft Auto, which was like uh, Auto 3, which was launched in, like say, 2000, I think, uh, eventually came to mobile in 2008, so there was an eight-year lag, and the reason for that is because of difference in API support across mobile and desktop. Now, with a common API support across all three platforms, you can expect to see like more games, next-generation games that uses advanced game engines like Unreal Engine 4 coming to mobile much sooner than uh, in the past. Very cool. So this is still very, very early stages. Uh, obviously, uh, the, the, these chips have to get out into the wild, out into devices. Uh, given all, all of the, the, these kind of variables, how, how long before we can start seeing uh, really beautiful console games on, on our mobile tablets and phones like this? Uh, I, I think at first you'll get you you'll see a lot of current generation console games being ported over to. Uh, uh, Tegra K1 powered devices. Uh, now that we support Unreal Engine 4, as g game developers uh, develop ne high, you know, high production value next generation games, they'll bring those also to uh, mobile devices. So uh, we expect to see K1 powered uh, devices in the market uh, next quarter. And you can also expect to see some really high end titles come to K1 powered devices. It's fantastic. Looking good and looking forward to it. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you.